Hi, students. This is your teacher, Miss Gartell. Oops, here I am. Hi, good, to, good that all of you are watching. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to be drawing rainbow fish. Now, I hope you watched and listened to the story that I posted of rainbow fish. So now that you have, we're going to start to draw rainbow fish. This is my example. And we're gonna start, I hope you all have your paper and your crayons. And as always, we're gonna start with our black crayon. If you don't have that, you, I hope you have a pencil. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over where we're going to put things. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at our paper and we're gonna put our rainbow fish right in the middle. Okay, we have some seaweed on the side and we're gonna put some sea anemones and all kinds of things. But first, we're gonna start with an oval for our rainbow fish. So we're gonna make like a rainbow shape and then we're going to come around and make a smile, okay? And you can come to a little pointed end or a little rounded end over there. Over here, we're going to make a line that separates the face of the fish from the body of the fish. Here, we're gonna put a circle and another circle. And if you want, we can make another little circle and color that in for Rainbow Fish's eye. We're gonna come here and we're gonna give Rainbow Fish a smile. We're gonna come and make another line right over here, which also separates the body from, the head from the body. Here we're going to come up, right up here where that line is, and we're gonna go up and we're gonna make a wavy line that comes down for his fin, the top fin. And now we're gonna make two of the smaller fins on the bottom. So we're gonna make like a U shape here and then a smaller one right there. Now we're going to add his tail. It's almost like a triangle shape, but it's kind of, we round off the edges, okay? But that's kind of like a triangle. We're gonna have a little curved line here and now we're gonna make these lines that go to the end of the tail. We're gonna come back over here on the fins and we're just going to make these lines. These fins are kind of transparent on a fish, which means you can see through them. Okay, so they're just, we're just making some little lines to give it some detail. Now we're gonna do our scales. To me, that's the fun part. And they're just loops. So we're going to make, start with some bigger loops, almost like you're making a flower. Now the second row, we're gonna come from the center of this loop and bring it to the center of that loop. And we're gonna go all the way across. And if you have some on the edges, you're gonna do that. So again, we're gonna come from the center to the center. And we can add a little one in between. And this way, if you make a mistake, it's not a problem. We can always go back and we can just add some more. And you can just keep going and add some more as you go. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you're using your black crayon. And then hopefully we'll get to color. Or if you have paints, you could even paint. But you see how even though my loops are not always perfect, you don't have to worry about making them perfect. Okay, they're still gonna come out looking great and Rainbow Fish is going to look awesome. Okay, so there we have our loops. I'm gonna give Rainbow Fish a few bubbles coming up because he's under the water. Now what I like to do is make a little one right here. Remember the little fish that asked Rainbow Fish for his petals. We're gonna make that oval shape or it can be like an almond shape. We're gonna make that line, two lines separating the head from the body, the eye, and we're gonna make the mouth. We're gonna have 
happy fish. And we can also add some bubbles. We're gonna make that fin on top. Right here, we're gonna add that tail. And we're gonna add two more little fins at the bottom. And we can even add the scales. I know in my picture it might be a little bit different. That's okay. We can always change things as we go. All right, and here we have all those scales and we have the fins. So now we have our two fish. We can even add some more bubbles. We're gonna make the bottom of the ocean. So we're gonna make a wavy line across right underneath them. We can add some seaweed, and seaweed is just tall grass. So it's these tall, you can make them tall, long, squiggly lines. They almost look like spaghetti. And we have some here. And the sea anemones are other sea plants that the fish like to hide among. So to make the sea anemone, we're gonna make a circle and we're gonna make a line coming down. It also looks like ziti. I like to compare things to food. I hope you're not getting too hungry. Okay, so we have our sea anemone that looks like some ziti pasta growing out of the ocean. And we're gonna add some shells and some other, see how in this picture, we have some other sea plants, we have some shells, we even have, uh, jellyfish. Okay, so to make a shell, it's really very easy. We're going to make that spiral shape that we all know. You start with the letter E, and then we go around and around and around, and then we're going to stop and bring that line over. And there's a nice big shell. Sometimes hermit crabs live in those shells. Those are good shells for that. We're going to make a starfish. To make the starfish, we're gonna make a triangle for the head, and we're gonna make two more for the arms, and we're gonna make two more for the legs. And there's our starfish. And I like to make little designs, little circles, because the starfish really has a lot of texture. So we're going to add that. We can add some rocks. I like to make some rocks over here, so it's just like a rainbow shape and then a line at the bottom. And then you can make some other smaller ones. They're like ovally shapes, okay? We can make some other, some more shells and that's gonna be fine. Maybe next time we'll add in the turtle in our next picture. We can add some more seaweed growing here. And these are other plants. They look like melons. They have a circle and then they have lines, or they look like cactus almost, like undersea cactus. Now, if you wanna add the jellyfish, it's also that upside down U shape, a wavy line at the bottom. We're gonna add some spots, and then we're gonna add these legs. Okay, this, this jellyfish has these long legs coming out of them. And there we have our undersea, rainbow fish. So now we're gonna to start to add some colors and that's gonna be up to you. I have um, a lot of crayons that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna pick some of my favorite colors. Okay, and you can too, pick some of the colors that you love and then you can start adding those colors right away. We can add some blues. Now remember, you can color dark or you can color light to get another color. So if I color this blue green, maybe I want the next one to be a light blue. So I'm just gonna press gently and make that a light blue. The same thing goes for this is red. I might want that to be a light red. Okay, and I might even wanna go over it with a pink to make it more pink than red. All right, so you can do that. You can blend colors. If I want that blue to be more greenish blue, I can add some green to that. And you can blend colors right, right, just like that. The crayons blend, and here's an orange. 
So if I go do that kind of medium, not too dark, I can even take a yellow and go over it and it becomes more like a yellow orange. Or if the black mixes in with it, it just gets a little bit darker. But you're gonna go through your picture and you're gonna add your colors. What I like about the seaweed and all the sea plants is that you can use all different color greens and blues. So it depends on what you have and the colors that you like. See, I have the light green, the very light green, the medium green, dark green, and the bluish green. And I can start with that color. Okay, and I can even change it as I go to the lighter green. See how that's a lighter green? And I can even go over the dark green to blend them. See, and if I mix this a little bit with that, it starts to blend, just like the oil pastels would blend. Okay, so I can use all my greens in one strand of the seaweed and get to the, to the lighter green. Okay, so you're gonna pick the colors that you want. You can even make, th make things colors that might not normally be. Like, I don't know if I've ever seen a purple starfish, but I know there are red ones and there are blue ones and there are pink ones. So the starfish also come in all kinds of colors. All right, so I might wanna take some of those other colors and mix them together in my starfish. Okay, and these are just crayons. I'm just using the crayons right here to add my colors, okay? And when you finish, it's gonna be really beautiful and really colorful. So try your best. Add lots of colors to make it nice and colorful. I would make the bottom of, my, of the sandy bottom, I would use like a yellow or even an orange or even a brown. Or you know what, I might mix all of them together to get that sandy bottom. Okay, and then I might take some blues and I might keep it a little light. Okay, if you have paint, you might wanna paint the blue ocean. Okay, if not, you just might wanna take a blue and color very lightly and get your ocean nice and blue. So there we have the beginnings of a great rainbow fish. I hope you've enjoyed it and I can't wait to see what you do. Thanks for watching. Have fun and be creative. Bye.